what we have here. We've got a pretty amazing amount of activity going on down here. I'll go down and show that in a minute. One interesting thing is these Shero marks, and a Shero is a, a indicator that you're supposed to share the road with bicycles. These were just painted yesterday. So I'm not certain off the top of my head if they're full, like official paint, or if they're um, the temporary stuff. Uh, after having talked to the mayor, I think they might very well be official. And over here, hopefully you can see through, we've got some pretty sharp light today. We've got kind of some temporary um, parklet spaces that have been built in here. We've got some of the, uh, the uh, pop-up shops that are getting started. And it's still relatively early, so they're just starting to get going. We got a car coming, so I'm going to speech myself out of the way here. But all the guys in orange here are um, volunteers. And they are from pretty much, seems like everywhere around here. So there's a large university called LMU. And a lot of LMU kids are here. There's also kids from other parts of, uh, somebody said the architecture program at University of Kentucky. Sorry, landscape architecture. Um, so I got a pretty broad batch of people. I'm going to let this truck go by. And then I'm going to walk over here a little bit farther. See if I can get out of the sun glare. So over here, we have all sorts of stuff going on. So this space in here is an exploration center. It's basically a hands-on museum for young kids. So it's like this is mostly, let's see if I can walk up here and get a peek. Now one of the interesting things is that uh, this was just put in yesterday. So this was a largely vacant building that was uh, just started up. Basically just cleaned up from what I understand yesterday. And uh, there's Mike again. So lots of stuff going on here. Lots of kids activities and it's also sort of serving as ground zero. We've got a shop here. <laughs> Let the guys go by. There goes Mike. And there's Isaac working furiously on something or the other. Step down here. Yes, that's a ton of kids going on. So we've got a pop up shop of small kids stuff. Isaac imp improvising with rocks. So, kind of the essence of this work. It wasn't Isaac, that was somebody else in the orange shirt. So, we've got uh, a bike valet space here. So, just to give you a sense of kind of, I mean, this is really an educational event, so they're really trying to give people a sense of kind of what the options are. And, you know, here's another one, a little explanation of mass transit. Why don't we organize a bike ride sometime today, so have a sign-up sheet so people can all agree to go on a bike-friendly news program. Yeah. And by the way, we can put those up and go on the ride. Hell, hell, much this is improvised. And the improvisation is actually a pretty cool part of it. So as I continue down the street here, here's another sort of pop-up shop. This is somebody with Christmas crafts. And there's a health screen. Try to get close enough to see this one. There's a health screen in this building. So I'm trying to be, let's like, see that, but it says free health screen on it. And inside the building is the School of Orthopedic, or sorry, Osteopathic Medicine from LNU. This is the Park Theater, which they were telling me has been vacant. It's been empty for years and years and years and years. I'm trying not to step off the But it's a theater that I took some pictures of it the other, uh, a little bit ago. But it's really been um, kind of reclaimed as ground zero for this event. around these guys and uh, we've got some information on it that I'm going to sort of zoom in on. So it's a 1930s-40s movie theater that um, you know, kind of got its start in uh, showing some pretty early stuff. And I took pictures inside earlier. It's hard to get film of it now because it's pretty beat up. Here's some of the folks who are doing the, uh, the start. The 
some of the, the people doing the organizing. And over here, we have a bunch of folks from all over creation who apparently showed up here and are being asked to scrape dirt and shove dirt. And uh, they cleaned up this whole curb area right here, which was pretty messed up. And uh, now they're creating a sort of park space right in here between these two vacant buildings. So we have, um, you know, we're going to have some chairs. The, the sunscreens are probably less necessary today than anybody thought they were going to be because it's really cold here. But, uh, so we have, we have lots going on and a huge number of people doing volunteer work. So that's really the extraordinary thing. It looks like it's all, most of the volunteers seem to be coming from area colleges, but not exclusively. There's plenty of, of other folks here, too. So here's a picture of the uh, the marquee of the, the storefront. And again, this is just one block of the whole thing that's going on here. So this small building here is a pop-up, is going to be a pop-up shop. So I'm going to sort of walk in a little closer on this one. We've got some neat little uh, spray painting on the sidewalks through here. And let these two guys go by. Hello. Hey. <laughs> so, you know, so we got a little thing educating people about food carts and trucks here, and it looks like there's going to be, I need to get a lovely view of my face on this thing, but there's going to be a, uh, and you're getting a, the, the background, but there's a, there's, oh, there you go, there's the interior, there's going to be a little pop-up uh, food, food place in there. So they're going to be selling, later on today, they'll be selling, uh, that sign says pulled pork. We've got some, uh, hard to, to film this, but we've got some food going into that building in a little bit. Now, this is what Isaac, I had that photo of Isaac standing there. These steps apparently belonged, there's nothing there now, but they belonged to a hospital slash hotel at a couple of lives that uh, occurred over the course of time. And I'm going to continue walking down here. You can see it's a relatively small town. It was really, really sleepy earlier, but there's lots of folks around now. And looking back and trying not to look directly into the sun, we got lots and lots and lots of folks hanging around here. So I'm going to walk down here to the corner quickly. That's a um, kind of classic little small town. And one of the interesting things that Isaac Kramer, who's the Main Street manager, said a little while ago, um, I believe he was talking to Mike Leiden, who's from uh, New York, is that this is one of those places where the challenges are steep, but because it's a relatively small place, they feel achievable. So it feels like it is all within reach of being able to do. And there, there is a definite benefit to small towns. We talk a lot of times about small towns not having assets. But um, there, there's a certain benefit to a small town in being able to, to do stuff like this and to do it fairly re regular, readily. So I probably, I don't know what I filmed that last few minutes, but uh, so here's kind of the central intersection with some neat murals, really a neat town. And, th and the way these buildings kind of frame the corners here, you can see it's kind of kind of uh, hexag or, um, you know, corners are kind of cut in. So that's the case for all four of the buildings on the corner here. But just to show this, this is one of the, uh, this is a, a pallet chair. So it's a chair that was built from wood, recycled from pallets. And there's a couple more over there. So it makes a nice little, you know, seating area. In this case, we've got park benches. so. They aren't quite so critically necessary here. And again, this is not kind of the center part of the block that they're working on. But uh, they're a good example of that kind of thing going on. So I'm going to turn this off and uh, we'll walk back up to center activity.